Welcome to Intuitive Energies. The greatest gift we get in our lifetime is our free will and our ability for love and kindness. Our jobs as guides working with spirit should be to raise your vibrational well-being in the most positive ways to strengthen your soul's resolve to live a most positive life. All we in spirit can offer you is guidance and inspiration, but only you have the power to make the most prominent changes in your life, regardless of what we say. Please be careful of anyone who promises you easy solutions and answers, like anything with date stamps of when money or love will arrive. These are general readings only and should be treated as such. Remember that you and only you have the ability to make and create for yourself. I hope my readings inspire you to elevate you to your optimum state of being and bring you enlightenment and hope for the future ahead. You deserve nothing less. There is a further disclaimer in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hi Pisces, and we're going to do your extended. You gave me the most views, my fishies. Finally, I've been on here a month and I've been waiting for you guys to find me. Uh, I am a fellow fishies. So yeah, I'm really happy. I'm gonna pull from this deck, which is called Miracles Now. It's a lovely deck. Look at that. Let's see what we have for our... Ooh, that's too many. <laughs> as much as I'd love to read them all, uh, we'll be here till midnight. So, yeah. As always, Pisces, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with all of you. It probably won't. There's way too many fishies in the world. However, take what does, whatever is enlightening your soul and sets you on fire to want to go out there and be your best self, I want you to take that message with you. I share my light with the world. Well, duh. Isn't that what we always do as Pisceans? We just share our light. We try anyway. We try. Okay, which one? Which one, Pisces? This one, that one, or that one? Let's, let's do this one. <laughs> let's do this one. Come on, give me your best cards for... Oh. <laughs> there we go. Goddess of the Moon. Of course! We're moon children. This makes all the sense in the world, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. All right. Okay, I'm going to pull from this one, and I'm not sure what the name of it, and it just came flying out. Oh, my. Ah, yeah, Pisces. We just got it, don't we? We just got it. Okay. Oh, uh, this is one of my favorite. This is Work Your Light. Wait, i got to figure out what this one is. This one is called Power Thought Cards. That was Power Thought Cards by Louise Hay. I'll put all the links below so if any of you are interested in having these cards. You know, there's nothing like beautiful cards to give you beautiful thoughts. Okay, so this came out. The Ace of Light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Lifetimes! Yeah. Here. There you go. Oh my god, look at all these wonderful cards, Pisces. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so now I'm just going to extend on that reading. I mean, every reading is pretty much the same. You're great, you're wonderful, everything's great, everything's wonderful, the world's going to be yours. Yep, 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 yep. So let's see. I want, I've already shuffled these a lot, but I'm going to shuffle them some more. All right. So let's see, Pisces, what we can <laughs> pull out. First card, the sun. Five of swords. 
Eight of Swords. Seven of Wands. Ooh. The Fool. The Six of Wands. The Page of Cups. The Four of Swords. And we're going to flip over the Eight of Pentacles. All right. So we've all started this new journey, which is indicated by the Fool right here. Okay? This is innocent beginnings, uh, leaping into the unknown. But we've been looking for illumination at the same time. And this is where the Sun card comes in. I think some of us are still looking for it. We're still looking for clarification. Okay? The 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 the, the factor that's going to shine the light. And then we've been getting glimpses, you know, glimpses of wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Just I have a feeling that it's it's almost like it's not completely clear. The picture isn't completely clear. Um and with that has come doubt, okay? And this is self-doubt. The Five of Swords, self-doubt. Here, you know, it's, it's easy to fall back into that trap. Because you see the potential in things, but then you think to yourself, well, what if it doesn't work? Doubt is such a terrible thing to have in your mind. It's, it, doesn't it cause havoc? I really, I don't like it at all. And it, it, it rents room in my brain way too much. Way too much. Because this is a victory card. Okay? So, I don't know about you guys, but I always feel like I'm going to be very victorious at certain things that I do. But every once in a while, I get this, this Five of Swords, that self-defeating card. Okay? And I've been getting these cards a lot from Spirit. I call it my Spirit Row. Um... The Eight of Cups and the Page of Cups. So, the Page of Cups is, is a new, like a young uh, spirituality for, th for this row right now. And it's saying to just go. You see that moon that represents us Pisces? It's saying go on a spirit quest here. Go, go meditate, okay? When you're in doubt, go meditate. And I know when I do, when I go and reconnect with energy, I feel so much better. Okay? I rest and feel so much, so much better. Okay? You have the Seven of Wands here. And the Seven of Wands right here is being aggressive. Okay? And it's... A lack of faith. It can be like a lack of faith in yourself. You're defending yourself. So this is this is very closely related to the Five of Swords, okay? Lack of self-faith, you know? And what you have to do is this. This is the Four of Swords, okay? So you got to step back. You have to reflect, restore, meditate. Okay, and here we go again with the meditation card. It's like it's coming back up here. Okay? And if nothing else in this row, it feels like it's going to be more of the same this week. Okay? This is going to be more of the same. We know something great is coming. We know we're destined for greatness. But however, we're still just, you know, going back and forth. It's coming, but what is it? Is it really coming, but what is it? Should I meditate? Yes, meditate. But what is it? I feel good. I'm back to feeling great again. La da 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 da. And we're going round and round and round. So I would suggest. Oh look, the tree of cup was hiding behind here. I would suggest just work at it. Just keep working at what you're doing. Just keep moving forward like we have been, and be just, you know, just do your quality work, um, meaningful. Working happily on whatever we're doing. Because, of course, the outcome's going to be a celebration. A celebration of what? We're not sure. But it's in the works and it's coming. I guess we should just trust spirit. 
And I haven't been doing enough meditation and I think I'm going to really buckle down and try to take some time and meditate this week because it is true, I feel so much better when this happens and I do feel like great things are coming in the works. So I hope this has helped you. We're going to go into these cards now. Okay, so I share my life with the world. Yes, that's very important. I do believe Pisces' responsibility is to share our light with the world. We need to. Okay, I'm going to read Goddess of the Moon here, out of the, the, little, the little Bible book that they send. Because, oh my God, it's, it's, quite, it's quite the book. It's quite the book. Uh, are these in... I don't think these... Oh no. They're, they have numbers, Jane. They have numbers. Can you tell this is new for me, this one? Yes, this one is new. Goddess of the Moon. Intuition. Going within. This card shows an internal spirit holding the bright reflective move and standing in front of crystal clear waters of a sparkling waterfall. Wow, there's a mouthful. Her arms are stretched. Let's see. I'm going to turn the page. Upward. Receiving the light of the moon. The light of inspiration. This card is all about intuition, the ability to receive insights from your soul's point of view. Receiving the card upright tells you that you have the power to get intuitive information on all types of issues, and now is the time to use it. There you go. The goddess of the moon brings you all sorts of information from the mundane to the spectacular. For instance, you could get the urge to take a different route home from work and find out later that you've avoided a three-hour traffic jam. You know, that's happened to me. That's happened to me. Or you might have an idea for a great invention, a stock investment, a spellbinding novel. This card could also indicate a significant blossoming of psychic ability and mediumship. Even on a professional level, you're always blessed with this ability to connect. But this card is telling you that now is the perfect time to open up. Get ready for the amazing inspiration this brings. You know, I'm glad they said that you can always do this. All signs can do this. All, all people, not all signs, all people can do this. You can connect with your intuitive energies. We all have the ability. Just some of us tap into it and some of us, well, we're just busy doing other things, right? But if you're watching this, then you have. And it interests you great job. It's wonderful. Just make sure that you're keeping it on the positive. Don't let negative come in. It's a wasted energy. The future is glorious. Well, we already knew that. And it's even got a moon there. Look at that. There's a moon, Pisces. It reads in the back, I now live in limitless love, light, and joy, and all is well in my world. There you go. That says it all, doesn't it? And this one is the Ace of Light. Mm -hmm. That one is oh, the Age of Light. I'm sorry, it's not the Ace of Light. It's the Age of Light. And it says, you've been training for this for lifetimes. Oh, love this. Mystics and sages throughout the ages have predicted this period in history and you decided to incarnate in the middle of it. There's no mistake that you are supposed to be here this time of great change. If you ever feel unprepared or daunted by the path that is calling you, know this. You've been training for this for lifetimes. You're way more than the days that have breathed through you in this life. You're also all of the lifetimes that came before. All these experiences have polished your soul into the most magnificent expression that is your authentic self. Your soul has many facets. Imagine a fingerprint. Your soul is a million times more intricate than that. If you put together all the fingerprints of all the people you have been, you would not even get close to fathoming how much of a unique masterpiece you are. You came in with a clear soul plan. You came in with wisdom beyond your years. This is the part of you that longs to be seen. This is a part of you that is ready to step forward. This is ready to emerge. This is not the lifetime to stay hidden, but to step forth, be seen, and rise. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's pretty profound. and I like these cards. These cards are usually like really... They're like magic cards. 
<laughs> Every time you read out of that, you feel like you could go out there with your wand and just like, you know, build a castle or something. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, you've been training for this for lifetimes. There you go, Pisces. Yeah, I just gave you the world here. <laughs> Ashley, you're going to go get it on your own. And, as always, keep your energies positive. There's no room in this world for guilt. There's no room for pain. Well, there's room for pain. Just, there's no room for you to stay in pain. There is a time for pain, but there's no room for you to stay there so that it destroys your very inner core. Do the very best that you can to stay positive and uplifted and that way you will attract these positive and uplifting people to you and you'll make your time on earth a good one. One that you can learn all you have to learn and where you can surround yourself with people who are like-minded. Take care of yourselves, Pisces. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your extended. Please give a like if you did and leave a message or a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Take care.